Oh, oh. oh shit. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Last night, he was outside. <laughs> I'm tired of being outside. <laughs> My baby got a little hangover, but it's okay. Well, we had a time last night. We had a time last night. I did. We had a time last night. It was. <laughs> it's a lot. It was a lot, but nevertheless, work still goes on. It's the daytime now, so we gotta handle our business. Like some boss ladies, we are. So. On the agenda for today, I need to get my lashes done at 2.30. Um, I gotta go to my P.O. box. I got a P.O. box now, guys. So, yeah, send me stuff. Send me everything, because I need that. Um, I just feel like this shit just... Ew! Come on, Ali. I cooked her food. And then she spilled it. Come on, man. Ooh. Don't watch that. Is it all in the bag? Mm -hmm. Like everything? Mm-mm. Um. But yeah, I'm driving her home, about to go to my lash appointment, then my P.O. box, and then I also got to pick up this chair and table set for my balcony that I got from Offer Up. If I can make it on time. If not, then I just do that tomorrow. It's not really a priority. But my my lashes, yeah, they gotta get done because this looks crazy. I don't know if y'all can see it. This looks sick. Go, bro, damn. I'm gonna highlight y'all because I gotta race right now. <laughs> I'm at Aaliyah's house. She just stepped out real quick. Obviously, I'm at Aaliyah's house. But yeah, um, I need to just do my hair, then I'm gonna get up out of here. I don't know her hair products and stuff like that. Let me go. Oh, here it is. Nice and easy. I'm really not doing too much. I'm literally putting my hair in two buns, fix my edges, get up out of here. Um, now let's find her gel and stuff. I hate going through people's stuff when they're not here. It just gives like crossing boundaries, but that's my sis. I don't know. I don't know where her hair products are at, and I need just just a little gel. Use this. Okay, found something. Hopefully, yeah, I can get jiggy with this. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna suggest it. I have to make it do what it do. What I got. I'm just gonna use some of this. Um, shine and jam, extra hold. There's mine. Okay. I'm not gonna use up all her stuff. But I just need a little bit, a little shine, shine. Not too crazy. Give it a little shine. And I like using like edge control on my hair, opposed to gel, cause gel is water based and. I'm like a real black girl. Like my hair, my hair is going to curl up fast. I don't have like that soft 2C hair. No baby. This, I'm not gonna say it's 4C cause it's not true, but my hair is definitely like 3C, 4B, 4A. One of them, it, it's thick. Once water getting it, it's over. So, I can't use water-based products. I've been doing this cute little bun hairstyle I've seen. Um, that's not smart. This cute little bun hairstyle I've seen on Instagram and stuff. And it kind of like, it's a bow, but it flares up. Y'all gonna see. Hold on. It's real cute. It's real cute. Um, okay. Ooh. I've been rocking this hairstyle for like three, four days, y'all. Because this washing set is so old. 
But I don't want to keep putting the fly iron to my hair because that's not good. All right, so it's like this. You almost do a bun. You almost pull it through, but you don't. Then you spread it out. And then you just adjust the bun. See how I like it? I think it's like that messy bun look. I love it. I've been doing this. Everybody's been telling me it's cute, so. Yeah. Not you trying to act out because we on camera now. Hair. My hair always do that. Anytime I'm recording or something. Oop. Yeah, we got to run that back. Anytime I'm recording or something, that's when it don't want to work out for me. It's just like, when I have company, that's when my TV want to start acting up. Don't do that. Don't show up because we got company. Okay. Something like this. You got to keep pulling it through. And then, like. Yeah, like this. Yeah. It's real messy. Like, I like that messy look. We're going to do this side. I'm gonna brush it first this time. Make it easier. Who's texting us? That's my girl. It's Imani, my photographer. So remember the photographer I told y'all about in my last vlog who did my birthday shoot? Um, she literally, oh, okay. She literally came from Atlanta to New York to shoot my birthday. And I really love and appreciate her because she's too fine. She's too sweet. She too, she's just too everything. Love that. So she just hit me telling me that she's back in Atlanta. And if I want to shoot some content, holla at your girl. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because I need all of the content. Like When I be on a roll, I be on a roll. But when I'm not, I'm really not. And that's the reason why like, I want to do get ready with me every day. But I can't because this is how I look most of the time. This is how I look most of the time. I be in leggings and a t-shirt and sneakers. So it's just not realistic for me to get content every day and act like get ready with me. Y'all gonna get ready with me to be wearing sweats and a t-shirt or leggings and a t-shirt. That is serious. So yeah, but when I do put that shit on, I put that shit on. When I do stuff, it's like all the way. But y'all talking about stepping. I have a newfound obsession with <laughs> Depop. I don't know what it is, but I just literally been obsessed with Depop lately. Like I don't sell clothes on there, I just buy. I just buy and I buy everything. And I might do a Depop poll for y'all. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments below. But, yeah, I've been buying a lot of stuff from Depop. Like, that bag that y'all see me have, that Gucci bag, Depop. I just bought these vintage Gucci heels, Depop. Like, if you really want to look stylish on a budget, baddie on a budget type of vibes, Depop is the girl. Don't look for, like, Lady Dior, like, new stuff. They good for the vintage vibes. So if you into like vintage clothes, vintage bags, Y2K theme, like how I am, Z-Pop is that girl. And everything's affordable. Like it's not too cheap. Like shit don't be like $20, but it be in a good price range of $300, $300, um, it's just, you got to filter it out to what you like. Just like how I did my hair, how I like. Y'all like it? I think this is cute. I like the messy button kind of look. I just got to fix my edges and it's all gone. Tie in. 
But yeah, Depop is really that girl. And I think that y'all should get into her because, yeah, definitely one of them apps. And if you have a lot of clothes, you might as well just resell it if you don't wear it. But one thing about me, once I get stuff, I don't ever want to give it up, like, ever. I be wanting to keep my stuff forever and never. You never be able. Because I'm like, you could always remix the outfit. Like, you could always remix some pieces. As soon as I give it something up, I be like, dang, a month later, I could have... I could have put this together with something. I need this for this fit. The first day I did this hairstyle, it ate. But now it's just giving like, girl, get your hair done. But this is my hair for now. This is what we're going to do. This is, how we, this is how we coming right now. Because I got a wig in the middle. I told you I got a P.O. box now. So people send me hair. I'm doing hair reviews. I'm a influencer. <laughs> so... Yeah, what time is it? I got a lash appointment. I'm bugging. Okay, I got some time. Mmm, I don't like this baby hair. Give like, I don't know. It's just not giving what it's supposed to give. Oh, I need to get my hair done. <laughs> I need to get my hair done. All right, this is this is as good as it's gonna get. I really don't got time. I don't care too much. Like, I really don't. This is the look, and I'm dead serious. This is really the look. Um, yeah, let me put the stuff back. Yeah, this is it. It is time for me to get my lashes. Mirror check. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a little fit check. I'm not really wearing nothing for real. I'm literally wearing Skims tea. Under Armour leggings, New Balance shoes, and some Japanese little backpack I got from 2nd Street, but it's too cute. And it don't match my outfit, but it do though, because it's me. If it don't match, make it match. I'm in front of my lash, my lash lady. I'm about to hit her up and let her know I'm early. It's 2.13, my appointment at 2.30, but sometimes she likes when I come early, so. Girl, I'm here a little early. Let me know when you're ready for me to come in. So yeah, I'm early, so I'm just gonna sit in my car and wait. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really not doing much, and I don't know why, but I feel like every single time it's time for me to get my lashes done, it be raining outside. Like last time I came to get my lashes done, it was raining, and the time before that too. I don't know what that means, but yeah, these got to get done today. And she going on vacation, so I call her like last minute. Y'all, I got a little problem. I got a little a little issue, a little situation. So, my mustache, first of all, I'm all woman. 150% woman. But, you know, we be having a little mustache sometimes. So, look. I don't know if y'all can see it. But, anyway, I have a mustache. It's not OD, but it be OD sometimes. I need to get it waxed. I need to get it threaded. It just gotta go. Because sometimes I be shaving it, but I feel like it get thicker when I shave it. And the summertime is here. I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. It's like bare face vibes. So, this mustache got to go. So, I'm thinking about, I don't know if I should thread it. Because I never got threading before, and I hate getting waxes. Like, I don't wax my cootie cat. I don't. The coochie don't get waxed. I shave. Because I hate pain. And that pain that I go through with waxing is just too much for me to bear. Like, the last time I got a wax, I made her stop mid-wax. Dead serious. Like, I made her stop, and I said, yeah, I'm going to shave the rest at home because I can't do this. And she was like, baby, you can't. I said, yes, I can. And she cleaned it off, 
and I walked up out of there. She she couldn't even charge me full price. She was like, I'm gonna charge you high price because we didn't even get nowhere. And I'm like, that's fine. This pain is unbearable. So, yeah, I don't like getting waxes. But I might have to wax my upper lip because this is crazy. And then somebody told me that threading's even worse than waxing. So I just don't know. But we gonna figure that we're gonna figure this out. Something gotta give. And this ain't gonna give. It's either waxing, threading. Or, I'm not about to laser my upper lip. It's either one of the two, waxing or threading. I'm going to try. I might try waxing, though. I'm going to record it. And if I do, I might do a whole vlog of me getting everything waxed. I'm going to take numbing cream. I'm going to take painkillers. I'm going to just try to thug it out. Because, yeah, nah, that pain is unbearable. Like, it's really crazy. I don't understand how y'all do it. And I really commend y'all. Kudos to y'all who do this shit. Um routinely like really go and get y'all waxes like y'all really dedicated to it because me no ma'am y'all better than me but i also don't get really bad razor bumps or nothing like that from shaving that's the reason why i do shave but i want to get into like smooth super smooth coochie side of womanhood because once i shave one day later not two days later one day later it be right back and i don't like that i don't like that I just shaved you yesterday. Why are you stubby today? That doesn't make sense to me. <sighs> but yeah. <gasps> Guys, I totally forgot that my lash tech, she waxes. I'm gonna have her wax my upper lip. Simple as that. I'm bugging. I'm acting like I gotta go get a full body. No, I'm gonna have my lash tech wax my upper lip. I'm gonna let y'all see. Because this mustache got to go. Yeah. We finally here. We made it. This is all I really wanted to do today. As long as I accomplish this, my day is productive and complete. We with my lash tech. Miss Goldie, don't play with her. The best lash tech in Atlanta. Yeah. Give me right every time. Can you do me a favor? Can you shave my mustache? Not shave it, wax it. Yeah. No, cuz really, no, for real. Look, look, my mustache. It's getting real, it's, it's getting real coming. dark. It's coming. Okay. Let me, I'm gonna turn it She's gonna give me right. Told you. She one of them ones. Don't play with her. I'm gonna put her information right here. Don't break her up too much. Leave some space for me. Y'all could book, but not too much though. I've been wanting to gatekeep. I really want to gatekeep my people, but I just can't. Y'all too far. Y'all yeah, too fine. Yeah, you always gonna have a spot, okay? We gonna get you in. Okay? That's what happens when you're a loyal client. Yeah. Back to back to back. I'm never gonna cheat on her. Never. I just woke up from the best nap. And I woke up to these beautiful lashes. And then I'm sitting here trying to pull some music and just knock down the whole, the whole lash table. <laughs> and it's time to get my mustache shaved. You gotta go. Mm. That night was amazing. Boy, I tell you, like she got the blanket and everything. I was cozy. <laughs> why I was cozy like this? And why was I really knocked the fuck out? Was out. My mouth was open? No. It was, was like doing the sleep twitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, just twitching in the sleep. I was fighting my demons, okay? Yeah, you definitely I'm crying. Also, I had these two puff puffs, so this was mad uncomfortable. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, we about to get that removed. You know, when you do that, I can see it. <laughs> you see? Shit like that. Shit like that. And I be doing that a lot, like. Okay. They gonna be like that little young man. That's a cute little boy. I'm a woman, okay? Just hairy. My lashes look amazing. Okay, so I think you can keep your. Don't 
just chill. Just chill right there. Don't move. I don't want to do this no more. Don't. You always do that. Okay. Just stay mm. still. You alive? You okay? Okay. Still alive? <laughs> nah, that was serious. Okay. Now you gotta do the whole the whole thing. It's mad hair. Yeah. I'm just. I'm not trying. She got me crying. It's not the lashes that got me crying. It's the mustache that got me crying. That's the thing. I'm not trying to like you know just rip you all at once. I don't know unless you want that. This is the reason I don't get my coochie waxed. I can't. It's really not that bad. Yes, it is. It's not. Especially once you get used to it. Okay, this part you. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. Because <laughs> you're getting used to it. This the tear. <laughs> oh, bitch. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Oh, it's not dry yet. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is a little more, but it's not. It's not dry yet, my bad. It's okay. <laughs> She did a real big one, and I knew she was doing a big one. <laughs> she laughed. <laughs> Let me just, can I take this piece off? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Whoa. Let me see the hair on the thing. Y'all so, do. They oh, so light. Look. Y'all look at the hair. Hold on. This is focus. It's like peach fuzz. That's what I'm saying. But that peach fuzz needs to go. See. You got a little bit more over here. That's it. I only see that over here. Look, look. Okay, I got the zoomed in. Okay, you wanna hold it? Or you wanna... Yeah, it's my souvenir. Okay. <laughs> it's like down here. That was the one. That was the one. There's mad hair on there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See all the little white stuff? That's the, the yeah, follicles. follicles. Yep. yep. There's mad hair on right here. There. Get your lashes done. I mean, if you want to get your mustache done, you could do that too. But definitely get your lashes done, though. <laughs> <laughs> she think this shit is mad funny. <laughs> oh, okay, let's just put this so we can just, you know, soothe it. Mm hmm needed that well I don't got no mustache no more per lashes is done she's a baddie thank you got me right um oh. <laughs> um <laughs> later thank you for my lashes close her door Oh, you know when we see a mirror, what we do when we see a mirror, we pose. <sighs> okay, off to my next task, which is the bank. She baking on me on the bank. I'm at the post office. Um, I'm in a parking lot right now, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little blowed. And I was like debating if I should share this with y'all, but 
I'm going to share it because it's really not that serious. But at the same time, it's like, it is though. So, come from my eyelash appointment. I'm looking at my phone, checking my notifications. And I see somebody makes like a little skit. But the skit, I'm not going to show you how to skit because I'm not going to bring light to it. But the skit basically entails like, oh, you fucked this girl. I fucked this girl too. Ah. Like, I've been back to, but they're going to use my, like me, my Instagram as the girl. I don't even know y'all. I don't know y'all from a hole in the wall. Don't, don't associate my name with nothing sexual, nothing of that nature. Cause that's not even my brand. I don't even like, I don't play with people like that. I don't know you to play with me like that. And I just think it's just distasteful. Like, I don't, that shit didn't sit well with me, with me because at the same time it, I could see how it could be comedy, like how it's supposed to be comedy. But it's just not funny to me because it's me. Maybe if it was somebody else, I would, feel a different way like haha -ha, kiki but me being me it being me it just i don't know that's just it wasn't cute it wasn't cute and i don't want nobody trying to associate their name with me i don't engage with nobody with nothing with nobody and we i don't even move like that period point blank period um I just think that's just so it's just distasteful it's not that serious it's really not i'm just not going to shed light onto it and they tag me like oh i should share this no i'm not sharing this this is super whack like why would i want to have that on my page as if y'all mutually fucked me ew ew come on now y'all could use any anybody y'all could have put me in any other skit but not one where the joke is y'all both fuck me when i don't know y'all it's not funny to me so yeah, I'm vexed about that. But fuck that shit. I'm about to go get my PO packages. In my PO box. So that should cheer me up a little bit a little bit. I was blow, but I'm feeling a little bit better now because I got my first PR package. Well, it's not my first PR package, but it's my first PR package in this new PO box. So yeah, she's getting legitimate. She's legitimate. Legitimate. Legitimizing. I'm, you know, going legit. <laughs> legitimizing. Legitimizing my brand. Okay? So, I feel better. I don't really give a fuck about that shit. I don't really care about the other shit. Because, yeah, that's little shit compared to this. <sighs> Off to go to the bank. So, I got my package. My package. My package. Um, I'm supposed to be filming some type of content for that, but I'm waiting for my manager to answer my phone. Answer her phone so she could actually give me the directions as to how I'm supposed to post it. Um, I know that is a TikTok promotion. I'm not really sure. How I'm supposed to post. So I'm not going to open it until I have proper directions as to how I'm supposed to post it. Which I believe I'm just supposed to like um, do a wig review. But I don't want to mess up. So I just want to have the specifics before I open the box. But to be honest though. I really need to get my hair braided down. But I might just slick it down into a ponytail to just show... To show the convenience of the wig. Like how you could just slick it. Put it on. We'll see. I don't know. Um, Yeah. I don't really got much going on today. My day is pretty calm. I did everything I needed to do. The only thing I did not do today is pick up this chair that I ordered from OfferUp. Now, I keep saying ordered. That is on sale on OfferUp. Um, yeah, because tomorrow I'm going to redo my balcony. Mm, I don't want to show y'all where I live because it's kind I'm going to show you about that. Um, it's a mess. So, I'm getting rid of that, this table, this chair, and I'm getting rid of this chair. I'm just going to redo my balcony. I can't show y'all too much because I'm going to end up showing y'all where I live. Don't watch the floors. I got to mop the floors. It's mad piling. But... <laughs> yeah, I'm redoing my balcony tomorrow. I might vlog it. I might TikTok it. I'm going to show y'all some way, somehow. 
what we got going on over there. But I just brought, let me show you what I brought. Well, I didn't buy it yet, but I gotta go pick it up. Um, okay. This little table, which is $50. So I'm gonna put that on one side. And then I also got, I'm also about to get this chair, which is 90. can't see i think it's gonna come out real cute and i really want to add a grass wall i'm just lazy but i want to add a grass wall i think that will add a really pretty touch to my balcony because it's really cute right now it's real cute right now it's real cute i just gotta clean it up because i don't be out there and you know when the seasons change the pollen it makes it real you know ooky and gooky and nasty it makes it real ugly and dirty looking so that's my task for tomorrow for real to just straighten up my balcony and soon we about to tackle this living room like i really want to redo my living room so bad like new couch take that painting down get a new painting new rug i just want to do the whole thing because one thing about it once you change your living room it literally changes the whole look of this space and i done had this look for a minute now i'm over i don't want this couch i just want a different couch i want a different rug i'll need a different painting i just need a, a reset i need a reset a redo spring cleaning and i also got to tackle my closet like it's just it's time for a good reorganization slash spring cleaning which i'm gonna tackle tomorrow i'm trying to think should i just make that into a whole vlog but at the same time i can't make it into a whole vlog because i know for a fact i'm not redoing my living room tomorrow like I'm just waiting a little bit for that because I'm going to do it all in one day. So, yeah, that's what I got going on. And, yeah, have a good day. Good evening. Um, Today, 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 at 4.02, because I got a late start to my day, <laughs> I am about to go get a tattoo. Impulse decision, whatever. I know it's not really impulse though because like I've been saying I wanted a tattoo. It's just like I don't know why I just now at this very moment with the tattoo. But maybe because I'm 22, who turned 23, big slime. <laughs> this is my my man's chat artist that my man got mad tats. He recommended him, so I'm like, all right, all right. My man's tats is nice, so. I'm a, I'm a trust him. I'm a trust his word with this one. I mean, in which I always do, but. So I'm gonna get a hand tap going all the way up, trying to kind of fill my half sleeve, you know? I was been supposed to do that, just never got to. What are you doing, son? Like, come on, you playing two lanes. What are you doing? These niggas out here can't drive. I swear to God, they can't drive. I just got tatted, as y'all know. But I'm going to try to be so transparent right now. Like, I'm going to keep it a whole bean. Look at my face. The candle. It's all right. Got my little snake. It's like a snake on my head. It's all right. But I'm going to show you what I wanted so you can understand what I got is some bullshit. This is what I wanted. This is what I got. 
like everything. Long story short, that's not that's not what the picture looked like. So <laughs> I'ma fix it. <laughs> I'm gonna fix it. It's not bad, but this not that's not what I asked for. Like, invest in your tattoos. Don't go the cheap route because this was two hundred for both of these, and I'd rather have paid a thousand to get some fire shit. This is like, I'm tight. Like, I'm tight. I'm tight. <laughs> I hate when people don't listen. Like I literally told, I literally told him what I wanted, showed him what I wanted as we're doing it. Like mm, that's not how it looks. He's like, no, just do it like this. That's not how it looks. Don't tell me what to just do when I'm telling you what I want. God, I'm blowed. I'm blowed. I'm blowed, bro. Like I'm really tight. I'm really tight. And he messed up on my face tattoo. He had to fix it by adding like a little shading in. But the line was crooked. I said, it's supposed to be crooked like that? He said, oh, I got you. Hold on, let me fix it. Let me eat to get my mind off of things because I'm tight. I'm really tight right now. Good morning. Okay, so today's the next day, obviously. Um, last time we talked, I was at IHOP showing y'all my tattoo from hell. My failure tattoo. And I was so irritated yesterday. Like, I'm, when I tell you I was so vexed, like, I was vexed. Like, I was tight. When I tell you tight, tight, I was, I was tight. Anyway, I woke up this morning and I looked at them again. I'm like, okay. It's not as bad as I was making it seem. Like, yesterday I was having, like, a whole moment. Like, I really hated the way my tattoos look, but it's not as bad as it seemed yesterday, I still don't love it. But at the same time, it could be fixed. Like, it's not horrible. Let me see if I can show y'all. It's better lighting now. This is the tail. This is the head. Okay, this is the head of the snake. Feel me? And I already had, like, this flower, so it was kind of going through the garden. And then the tail comes from that way. So, I like the placement. I like how he made the tail come from the other end like that was spot i like that it's just the design within and i don't know i just feel like it needs to be more detailed and you can always add details so i'm not really tripping about that either um i like this one a little better as well i just washed my hair guys just washed my hair made it to top and i'm really i love my natural hair i just don't wear it like i like it though i'm gonna start wearing it I don't know. I just want my hair to be way longer. Like, I want my hair to be down my back. And then I feel more comfortable wearing it. But, I don't know. I love it, though. Like, I came so far on my hair journey because if y'all know me from back in the day, 20, like, 2019, I was fully bullheaded. 2020, I just started growing my hair back. So, this is three years of growth. Um, and I just washed my hair. I just washed it in the sink. Yes, I washed my hair in the kitchen sink. That's how I grew up. I washed my sink before and afterwards, so everybody calm down. Um, yeah. I'm about to go get it braided, because I could braid my own hair, but being that I have nails on, I can't braid my own hair. So I'm going to just let it air dry. It's pretty detangled. And then go to, like, the Africans probably to give me some cornrows, straight back cornrows. So I could make this video for this wig, which I'm yet to make two days later. But I'm going to definitely do that today. And, yeah. I just got my hair done from African hair braid. Hair braid. 
straight back motherfuckers. I don't know why I didn't um bring a hat. <laughs> so now I'm walking around like this, but I don't care because yeah, fresh braids and y'all can see my new hat. <laughs> now I gotta go pick up these balcony chairs. Let me hurry up before they close. So if you're in the Atlanta area and you guys want some furniture, what's the name of this brand? Uh, yeah. you, you can just uh, do like a like them ask me for for taking my Facebook page. Okay, so she's on Facebook. This is her Facebook, and I found her on Offer Up, and they have like it's a whole warehouse full of stuff, like a bunch of stuff, gym equipment, patio furniture. Um, what else do you guys have? Chairs, literally everything. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are in the Atlanta area, definitely hit her up. And they also assemble it for you. Extra ten dollars, but that ain't about nothing. Okay? Period. So y'all, this is my patio furniture. It looks real cute. I didn't get the table over there yet, but this is a little setup. Thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And how let you go for more.